the Wednesday, August 18th, 1999, Chautauquan Daily invites all Chautauquans to the Aldean to celebrate a unique event. I guess that's going to be the, the spot there. So. That is the spot. Anxious to see the decorations that they've been put up. All right, well, let's go down. Yeah. Roosevelt visits Chautauqua Institution. We'll show you the reenactment after this. Okay, good. You too, you too. Look at that. When he said, it would be bad taste for me to multiply words on this occasion when we have with us this distinguished orator who is to speak to us. This great man has been a hero on the battlefield and is now the governor of this glorious state and who, if I have the gift of prophecy, will sometime be the president of the United States. <laughs> <clears throat> In all his journeyings in this land and foreign lands, he has never found a more intelligent, glorious, or patriotic welcome than he will receive here today. Ladies and gentlemen, Governor Theodore Roosevelt. <laughs> should learn by history. Our reformers should study the reforms of the past with reference of the failures as well as the glories. The great victories were won not by men who had an ideal, but who followed it in practical ways. I believe in the gospel of work, righteous, intelligent work, the gospel of work along the lines of the broadest and deepest Americanism. As you despise the individual who shrinks from work because, because it is difficult or dangerous, so the nation that shrinks from its work is to be held of little account. While the United States nation, we will face and solve our problems. We must build in these ruins temples of liberty and justice. If we leave this building today to people without tools, we shall show that we have sacrificed the deed to the name and are not worthy to be called a great nation. Good people take part in the politics of the country. It is not possible for any American to keep himself free if there is stain upon the flag. Politicians do exactly what the people let them do. If people do not have the principle or the common sense to stand up for what is right, they are to blame if the politicians do wrong. The people must do their duty if they want the right to succeed. We are now all Americans. 
proud of our forefathers and their bravery. Because of the work done by pioneers and our forefathers, through difficulties and well done, we now glory. How much of what we have now that you are proud of came from repeated defeats and perseverance on your part came as the work of an amateur or those who were willing to work only if it did not interfere with their personal convenience? Chautauqua was not made that way. It is the result of untiring energy and now is one of the greatest educational forces from the Atlantic to the Pacific. I salute you today for your perseverance and dedication to this mission. Congratulations to you on this great day. Bully Chautauqua! <laughs> trying to encourage the uh, those that were in attendance you know to be uh, you know focused on the government uh, looking at the legislators uh, making sure they were doing what they should be doing uh, certainly focusing on a period in time in history when when the country was going through some transitions and, and it was interesting of course it fell right at the end of the uh, last century so uh, some of the uh, comments relative to the end of the century uh, you know were very pertinent today and it was very interesting that the things that he said a hundred years ago still were very much part of uh, a speech that can be made today. The next day the media weighed in our local Jamestown Post Journal front page article restates the Chautauqua reenactment of Roosevelt's Army Day visit of a hundred years ago. Red, white, and blue draped the late 19th century Aldine Condominiums House across the street from the Athenaeum Hotel on the grounds of Chautauqua Institution. With the article came a front page picture of Randy Sweeney reenacting Theodore Roosevelt. Daily of August 21st, 22nd did us even more proud. Stereo view capturing Colonel Roosevelt delivering an address on the National Army Day, August 19, 1899, in the amphitheater. It's the famous picture which we have in our lobby of the Aldine on that day. And a, a picture on the day of the ceremony. Roosevelt greeted residents at Chautauqua Institution today. Actually, it was a reenactment commemorating Teddy Roosevelt's visit to Chautauqua Institution 100 years ago on this very day in 1899. And he happened to come by the Aldean Condominium, among other places. Uh, and uh, this was a day where we thought we'd celebrate that uh, special event and to also commemorate it in not only bunting up our building, but also to have uh, Colonel Roosevelt here. Who's all Taking excerpts from his speech on the porch of the Aldine Condominium 100 years ago, Roosevelt addressed issues pertinent to the turn of the century that are timely now. It was an inspirational speech that he made 100 years ago, and, and he was you know, trying to encourage the, uh, those that were in attendance you know, to be uh, you know, focused on the government, uh, looking at the legislators, uh, making sure they were doing what they should be doing, uh, certainly focusing on a period in time in history when when the country was going through some transitions. Photos of Roosevelt's visit to the grounds were found in the archives of Chautauqua. Several people turned out to witness the reenactment of this historic event.